So what? Masons say that nothing bad goes on in their lodges. Well, this right here on Fox News here, this shows that, well, sometimes they do t play twisted games in their lodges. Let me just go ahead and read this from foxnews.com. A man was killed during a Masonic initiation ceremony when another member fired a gun loaded with real bullets instead of the expected blanks and shot him in the face, police said. A 76-year-old man alleged to have fired the shot was charged with manslaughter. William James, age 47, was shot while participating in an induction Monday night at the Southside Masonic Lodge. Suffolk County Police said he was pronounced dead at the scene. Detective Lieutenant Jack Fitzpatrick said that the ritual that went tragically wrong involves making a loud noise to frighten a new member. The ceremony was designed to create a state of anxiety, he said. The lieutenant said that the Masons sat James in a chair and placed cans on a small platform around his head. The alleged shooter, Albert Ede, was standing approximately 20 feet away holding a gun. Fitzpatrick said at a news conference when the gun was fired, a man who was holding a stick out of sight was supposed to knock the cans <laughs> off the platform to make the inductee think that they had been struck by bullets. Ede had two guns, one with blanks and one with real bullets, and apparently pulled the wrong one out of his pocket and fired, shooting James in the face. Ede had two guns, one with the blanks and one with the real bullets. The story goes that he pulled the wrong one out of his p pocket and fired, shooting James in the face. Now, my video is not to say whether or not that man meant to do that or not. It doesn't seem like he did, but... My whole question is, if masonry is such a good institution, why is it that you have initiation rites where it involves frightening a candidate with a gun stuck in his face? Because, well, not going to be able to deny this one. While my, me, myself, I, I wouldn't have believed this if somebody told me this or I'd read this on a website. But the problem here with it is, we've got a real dead body and all, all these news reports. All you need to do to find out that this is a real real life story of a real man that was shot dead in the lodge during initiation is go google William James murder and well the first article that will pop up will be the news or the foxnews.com story that I've got pulled up here for this video so anyway this this is one of several videos I'll be doing that exposes masonry now while I said I'm, not, I'm my whole goal with this video is not to say whether my, this man's innocent or not I do want to go ahead and include the rest of the story. So this man, he had his gun permit since 1951 for the 32 caliber handgun used in the shooting. But everybody says it's not clear why he took it to the ceremony, the police said. And so he pled innocent to manslaughter and the charge in bail was set at $2,500. So we have uh, Steve Mayo, who described himself as a senior deacon of the lodge, told reporters on Tuesday that that's not a Masonic ceremony where they bring pistols. However, Fitzpatrick said members told the police that the rite involving a gun goes back at least 70 years. You just check that out right there. Now again, no, I don't, I don't believe it's common practice at every lodge to do such thing. But this is proof that lodges do do such things. So it's untelling what goes on behind closed doors and yes, these people swear to secrecy. So don't don't expect any of them to say, yes, we, we, we run around with guns and stick them in each other's faces. Which by the way, I'm just gonna say this, anybody that that has, that actually has a gun permit, if you, if you do that kind of stuff, you're already breaking the law, that's a felony. Anyway, stay tuned. I've got two websites, MasonicDeception.com and Sharing the Truth in Love. God bless, and only Lord Jesus Christ's name. Have a good day.